Shalom, shalom, shalom. This is your brother Yael Ezra Ben Levy coming at you again with another quick video. I have a quick question to ask. In what way do we as Israelites, as Yahudi, as Jews, in what way do we show the creator and show the world that we love him, that we fear him with all our heart? Is there a tangible way that could be verified without fail that we as his people, without a shadow of a doubt, love him with all our hearts, our might, our soul, our strength, with everything that makes us who we are? And the answer to that question is, of course. Yehovah, the God of Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, that's Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, has already made it perfectly clear that we as his chosen will obey him. We will honor him. So there's no way we could say that we love him, that we fear him, and we choose to be disobedient to him. We choose not to stand on what he say. We choose to not adhere to his instructions, to his Torah. So my brothers and sisters, if you, you are saying that you are his and that you have been chosen by him and that we are descendants of the people of the book, there's no way that we could wholeheartedly make this declaration and we are a stiff-necked and disobedient people. It was the our it was the our ancestors stiff neck and disobedient that got us to where we at. And if we choose to continue that trait, that's not going to restore us to our proper place. But it's going to get us back to our place. Physically and spiritually, mentally as well is to return to Yehoah. And when I say return to him, that also includes honoring, obeying his Torah. Now, is the Torah for one individual to keep? It is said that there is 613 commandments. Do you think that one individual is supposed to keep all 613 commandments. And I hope that your answer was no, because it is impossible for one individual to keep all 613 commandments. It All the commandments is not, it wasn't designed for one individual to keep. But corporately, as a people, as a nation, we can keep these commandments. When we get restored to our proper place, when we get restored to our land, when everything is put back in its proper place, all of the commandments can be reserved by us corporately. So my brothers and sisters, it's time for us to rise up. It's time for us to answer the call. It's time for us to return back to Yehoah. And walk in these law, statutes, and commandments. Because if we truly love him, it's an easy decision to make. Peace.